Thai police officers face lengthy prison spell after large-scale corruption. Some of Thailand's most notorious police officers face time in prison due to charges of large-scale corruption. Eight police allegedly took advantage of their positions of power to assist PCC development and construction in winning a bid to build 163 five-story flats worth 3.7 billion baht. At the Central Criminal Court for Corruption and Misconduct, it was revealed that an officer acting as a project inspector allegedly accepted bribes worth 60,000 baht from the company, while a project supervisor reportedly received 91 million baht. The Central Criminal Court for Corruption and Misconduct initially handed down life sentences to these six bid screening police officers and fined them 390,000 baht each. However, as they cooperated with the investigation, the sentences were commuted to 33 years and four months and a fine of 260,000 baht each. Waste Shark provides solution for polluted Chao Praia River in Thailand. A marine environment company in the Netherlands has created Waste Shark, a groundbreaking robotic shark that could provide a solution to the serious pollution problem in the Chao Praia River in Thailand. The device patrols rivers and canals and swallows discarded plastic waste. Invented by Netherlands-based Ran Marine, Waste Shark is a battery-powered electric catamaran that can travel up to 5 kilometers through water before needing to recharge. It can collect up to 500 kilograms of plastic and other pollutants as it navigates through the water on its own. Recently, the Waste Shark was tested in the River Thames, near London's Docklands, where it successfully collected over 22,700 plastic bottles in a single day. In addition to collecting plastic waste, Waste Shark also gathers valuable data on water quality during their journeys. They are equipped with sensors that measure various parameters such as turbidity, salinity, temperature, pH balance, water depth, and send this information back for analysis. These machines can be acquired for approximately 20,000 pounds, or 33,400 US dollars, or rented for about 1,000 pounds per month, that's 1,670 US dollars. The WMP slams Bangkok governor's ban on sexy dresses at Songkran Festival. The Women and Men Progressive Movement Foundation, or WMP, criticized Bangkok's governor over his recent Songkran Festival policy, which bans women from wearing sexy dresses. The WMP believes the policy is victim-blaming and protects sexual offenders. The governor's team has also banned alcohol sales, white powder, and high-pressure water guns in public places during the New Year celebration. The director of WMP revealed to the media yesterday that he agreed alcohol and high-pressure water guns should be banned, but added he was disappointed that the sexy dresses were prohibited. He also disagreed with the governor's statement that wearing a sexy dress and showing bodies would lead to sexual harassment. He said sexual assaults generally come from the superior power of the offenders, who usually gather in groups and harass victims, some under the influence of alcohol. He added, sexual harassment happens no matter how people dress. An elderly British man overstays his visa in Thailand by 11 years. Immigration police arrested a 76-year-old British man in Bangkok who overstayed his visa in Thailand by a total of 4,142 days. It's more than 11 years. Thailand's immigration authorities are taking their latest crackdown on foreign overstayers in the kingdom seriously, catching a British national who managed to slip through their net for more than a decade. He might be the longest overstayer to hit the headlines yet. According to his passport, the 76-year-old's permission to stay in Thailand expired on November 26, 2011. Police said they were tipped off by a spy, whose name they did not disclose, that a British national was living illegally in Bangkok. Immigration's latest hunt for illegal foreigners comes under orders from the chief of police to eradicate the kingdom of foreigners who behave inappropriately and break the law quote, causing danger to the peace and safety of life and property of the population, damaging the image of the country. Thailand releases Pad Krapao flavored condoms. Holy basil lovers, condom brand My One Thailand has released a special edition chicken kaprao flavored condom. With April 1st just around the corner, it's not easy to trust that My One Thailand is serious about their Pad Krapao flavored contraceptive, but it looks like the holy basil chicken condom is not a hoax. The product is really available to buy through the brand's official store on Shopee. My One Thailand said, quote, Spice your sex experience as if a Michelin chef came to cook and serve delicious dishes on your bed. As one of the nation's favorite flavors, could Capra flavored condoms help the National Health Security Office fulfill its goal of increasing the use of contraceptives among the population of Thailand? 
Before Valentine's Day last month, the Thai government distributed 95 million free condoms to try and curb sexually transmitted diseases and teen pregnancies. Now, in 2016, rumors circulated that a Bangkok condom manufacturer was going to release a durian-flavored condom. But thankfully, that product never materialized. That's it for Thai News Weekly today. We'll see you next week.